Hey, this is pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, what I want to talk about is testosterone replacement therapy and the dosing that goes along with it. There's a historical dosing pattern that most doctors follow. I don't think that's the best way to go about it, and so that's what I want to cover in this video is what I think is a better way. So, first and foremost, what we normally do if if a, if a man goes on TRT, we see what we call bolus dosing. So they'll take anywhere from 50, 100, 200 milligrams, and they'll dose that once a week, and it's dosed through an IM injection. If you don't already know, IM injection, fairly long needle, you know, inch to inch and a half long needle, uh, pretty big gauge, so it's painful to give it. But you do that once a week. Normally, they go into the clinic, and it's given. Some men can do it themselves. What we see is that this is, this is our week, so week one, two, three, four, so on, and this is our testosterone level. The idea is when we give these injections, we want to get the body's testosterone levels up to this point in the dotted line and uh, mimic what's happening in the body. But the problem with doing it once a week is we get all these peaks and troughs. With an IM injection, you do get pretty rapid absorption, so it gets up to level, but then it will drop off throughout the week. You got to go back in. I want to point out this is very, very simplified. I'm just using it for illustration purposes, but there are a much more peaks and valleys. That's not what we want because I, I need to stress the whole point in doing this is to mimic what your body normally does with testosterone. It, your body doesn't kick out 100 milligrams of testosterone on Monday and then do it again the next Monday. It's on a daily pattern. It's a circadian rhythm sort of thing, like melatonin, like cortisol. Testosterone operates in a similar fashion. So what if we could more closely mimic what your body is doing with our testosterone therapy, and we have a way to do that? I first came across this with a doctor who worked with Navy SEALs, and you would think Navy SEALs are there. You know, they just, they're, they're crazy, they're so healthy and in this, that, and the other thing, but they're under a tremendous amounts of stress, and stress is a testosterone killer. And this doctor discovered even these guys who were young, they had terrible testosterone levels. But he started doing this, and, and he started dosing, I believe it was like three times a week, and that improved things a lot. Well, now what we've moved on to, and we're seeing more forward-thinking doctors they dose testosterone every day, and they do it subcutaneously, and that gives us some advantages, and that's what I want to hop into. So instead of dosing IM injections once a week, what if we dosed every day? And here's what we see. Again, very, very simplified. It takes longer to get up to the therapeutic level that your body would normally produce, but once we're there, those levels, there are some peaks and troughs, but they stay right in there. Okay, and that's more, that more closely mimics what happens with your body. It also gives us some other advantage. So we, we already talked about fewer peaks and troughs. We want that. The other thing is you can do it yourself. I've given myself subcutaneous injections. It's very easy to do. If you do it right, it's not that painful. Um, and pretty much anybody can give themselves a subcutaneous shot. That's not the case with an IM injection. A lot of guys have to go into the clinic, have the nurse or doctor give the injection, the IM injection. Not the case with sub-Q. You can do it yourself. The other thing, it's, it's safer for your tissues. Giving an IM injection, like we talked about, is tough on the tissue. The needle is anywhere from an inch to inch and a quarter long. It's pretty big gauge, painful, rough on the tissues. Finally, and most importantly to me, what we talked about is it's going to more closely mimic what's going on in your body because you're doing it every day. I've seen dosing regimens in, in various different areas, but you can count on, say, 12 and a half milligrams to 20, even 30 milligrams of testosterone subcutaneous every day. I would definitely start in this area, but that's what we see some of these clinics doing. I think it's a much better way to go, and I've already pointed out some of the advantages you would get. So 
let me know in the comments, are you doing TRT therapy? How's it going? Are you doing the weekly dosing? If so, this may be a better option for you. So um, I hope this video was helpful. Also, let me know in the comments if there's other videos you want me to cover. You know, I love reading the comments and, and covering some of those things. So I appreciate that. But hopefully this was valuable. Again, let me know in the comments. And until the next one, this is Curtis Alexander. Thanks.